If you were to ask my mom when she knew I was gay, she would say December 7, 1975, because that was the day that Evie Harris's holiday special aired on CBS. I don't know what it was about her, but my nine-year-old world was rocked. Um, hi, I'm Dennis Hensley, and I'm probably Evie Harris's biggest fan. Oh, in fact, I still have the scrapbook I started when I was nine years old. It has um, publicity photos from her MGM days, programs from her Vegas act, oh, and um, clippings from her bouts with substance abuse and run-ins with the law, and, oh, my absolute favorite, a rare publicity photo from her appearance on The Shields and Yarnell Show. Evie played their robot aunt, and she was amazing. So I've been obsessed with her for years, but I've never actually gotten to meet her until today. See, a friend of my friend's sister's new boyfriend used to be Evie's parole officer, and he arranged for Evie to meet me today on Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, apparently, on the first of every month, she likes to go down and clean her star on the Walk of Fame. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I brought some fantastic. I don't even know if that's what she uses, but, you know, you don't want to show up empty-handed. So here I am at the designated meeting spot, and here she comes. Oh my gosh. Hello! Miss Harris, yes. hi! Yes. Oh good, you brought the camera. Hey, who are you going to show this to? Um, well, I'd like to try to get it in the Gay Film Festival. You know, they should really change the name of that. You know, nowadays, gay sometimes means homosexual. Um, yeah. Well, listen, I brought you something. Oh, fantastic! Fantastic! Oh, for cleaning! <laughs> Thank you. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but they don't clean your star for you. Yeah, it's really up to the star herself. Yeah, and a lot of celebrities don't even keep them clean. Dick Van Dyke's star is a pigsty. Come on. Right this way. You know, I couldn't remember the street name, but my star's right up here on the corner. I thought it was. Oh, you know, it's across the street, across the street. I remember, I remember it was on a corner. But, oh, Audrey Hepburn! You know, I did summer stuff with Audrey, and she was fit as a fiddle. Like, up every morning, jogging, while the rest of us were just sleeping. A big farter. Real gassy. You know, but she was so healthy, always eating right. Something must have crawled up her ass and died, because these didn't smell like normal farts. But I'm telling you, whatever she was doing, it was working, because she looked great. Reagan. You know, back in the 50s, I remember he used to call me up in the middle of the night for a quick one. After that, he just fell off the face of the earth. Freeze, turkey! <laughs> oh, Kenny Rogers! You know, Kenny Rogers once had me over to his house for dinner. He served me chicken, and I said, this is so good, you should open your own restaurant. And he did! Funny thing is, I was lying. I just wanted him to fuck me. Awful chicken. Fair with Disney back in 57. Talk about bed nods and broomsticks. Of course, eventually his wife walked in on us. I said, Dad, will talk about Escape from Witch Mountain. I got the hell out of there. Shirley MacLaine. You know, probably the smartest, one of the brightest actresses I know. Always had her face in a book. Picks her nose and eats it. Debbie Allen. Yeah, you know, yeah, I know it's near Debbie Allen because I remember writing an angry letter when they put her in. Oh, look, Dennis, Jim Henson. You know, I once did an episode of Sesame Street. Yeah, all my scenes were with this big bird. I don't remember what they used to call it. You know, they never had me back. I don't know who you used to have to fuck to be a regular on that show, but I know it wasn't the producer, the cameraman, Mr. Hooper, or that adorable seven-year-old black child. Bob Barker. Uh, we were going at it once, and I just started to laugh. He asked me why, and I said, we're doing it doggy style, and your name is Barker. Now, later he entered AA, and he wrote me the nicest note saying that night he knew he'd get bottom. It feels so great to make a difference. Doris Day, oh, you know, come here, Dennis, Dennis. Doris Day fucked her way to the top, and when she got there, just kept on going, and fuck, 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 
crewmen were afraid to walk by her trailer. With old habits, I guess. I should call her and say hi before she dies. Lawrence Welk. Oh, Lawrence. You know, every Sunday I make a big bowl of popcorn and then pop down in front of his crotch and blow him. Oh, hold up, Dennis. This is uncanny. Like these three stars being together. See, in 73 at a particularly randy Scientology mixer, I had a cold sore, which I gave to Jack Klugman, who then gave to Angie Dickinson, who in turn gave to you Brenner, who then gave it back to me. Down there, Dennis, he was eating me out. Evie, you're drinking? It's only three o'clock. Yeah, I wasn't gonna, Dennis, but the new liver took. Yeah, didn't think I was gonna get one for a while, but then this young mother died in a, a car crash or something. The important thing is I can drink like a fish again. Bottoms up! Ooh. 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 Mama's awake! Jerry Lewis, you know... Jerry begged me to do one of his big Labor Day specials. I said, not until you make it shorter and get some talented kids. Yeah, the ones he had were hacks. They just weren't special. You know, they sat there like lumps. Now, Shirley Temple, there's a kid who could tap. Oh, is it? Oh, shit. I know it. I remember it was, a cor it was on a corner. You girls seen my star? Danny Kay. 